These moments suck up evil like a black hole and dubby bass. Deep, 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 deep dub bass absorbs and slows down evil energy. So Mick wanted to discover the secret at dub to learn how it conquers darkness. He even started a record label putting out dub records so he could tame and then destroy dub. But Lee suspected something. He wouldn't get involved with Mad Mark and masticating Mick to make up to his rigs. He knew all dub folk know about Lancashire as art of Babylon. That's how Jamaican dub music found its way back to Lancashire. Because music that came out of Caribbean slavery tried to undermine beast from within. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. It makes sense. Dub is apparently righteous music. So I dub got into Red County and invaded their waves. A radio Lancashire program called Up On Wire started to play dub music. It tried to turn terrible tide. And the program started broadcasting in 1980s from a studio a few miles away from Pendle Hill. It got dumb on there. It tried to drown out brides like me, drowning out diabolical voices at Mike Sherelle. And Lee Berry appeared live on the program. He stayed in Clitheroe near Pendle while he was there. He supported Stephen. And because of all this, the great sprites panic happened. And all sprites started wasting away. Steve was sucked out of him. I needed to take refuge in thanking trainers. I was losing ability to sprite. But Alan heard it dust He had to stop it. So he went on radio. Sprites do that a lot. It's easy. We're a bit like radio waves. Voices off there. That's all we are. So he went on radio as Alan Kesic. He started a late night phone show on Red Bulls Radio. And he was cracked and crawled. He savagely abused anyone who went on to the program. Fair and clarity and traps and wild rabies. So is madness of world. He spat bilious bloody black vial of Satan out on the fairways. Trying to replace Lancashire and the darkness. Knocking it back and it found to know themselves. Hit back round as he broke off the embrace. And in Revelations 13, all of this is prophesied. A ginger man will blacken and reclaim fair all that red land with evil words. It says, or words to that general effect. If any man have an ear, let him hear, I say. And in Revelations 13, if you put together the sixth word from the start of the verse, what do you get? Lancashire Radio Rap. 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 Well, it seems you haven't the intellect to argue your point. Perhaps it's because you're a bum brain. How do, Peter? Well, is your defence? You haven't one. Goodbye. How do... Who? Ah, go and play on the railway, you godless little crap. How do, Paul? I was going to tell you about this record, weren't I? I'm coming to that. And anyway, Alan often played a song, and he's sure, called Helter Skelter, by a pop group from Liverpool, as often as he could. A record famous for hidden messages that only Keswick himself could interpret. And he also played that other Lancashire group, Fallen, who were named after Lucifer and his mates who descended from heaven into the abyss. But both those groups were only half dead, so to speak. were big, billion leading battles between darkness and light, like Lancashire itself. And some writing on one at Fallen single cover summed up conflict of forces. It contained this picture of leading prophecy. I urge finder at this master tape never to unleash it on humanity. Ah, already feeble deity right on his coin at my brain. If it is unleashed, the fall is here. Exoplasm exercised and humanity can either eat that trade or face the second dark age. Meaning next one after the industrial age, I presume. When Satan had his very vicious and victorious victory, the only way out is to blow the head off. I guess that's what it all means. Singer Marky, he is the evil bit, obviously. Embodied dark light, dichotomy within himself. A useless hex and priest, reliving witch trials. I could practice many half dark arts. Always looked a bit jewelled in. I could croon like an angel. That last bit's not true. But there were other things to do with Bibles and this car. shows of Alan Keswick, and Alan was very taken with this, he told me so, he told me all of this, I'm just repeating what he said, and he said the song were a B-side called Lucifer Over Lancashire. Oh. Take nothing.
is where this record comes in. It's based on another prophecy. A prophecy about a red disc that will restore dark forces over that red country. And so Alan told me I'd been selected out of thousands of sprites for job. He sent it with the Simons and Sprite and I'd been waiting for all these years, even though I didn't want a Simons. I just wanted to stop. But I was able to carry on. I've said this before, and anyway, he wanted me to go to a pressing plant and take a cold possession of a red coloured vinyl record. He said I would be able to leave my pumps behind and live in this. It had to be vinyl. The gap of the CDs. Not enough texture on them or something. And outloads of technological forms have more scope for submersion, Alan said. The revolutionary possibilities are discarded and overlooked, as Eric put it. And I would live in shiny red roofs if I could call them living. So I had to agree. It would be better than trainers. I couldn't deny that. Silence. Silence for thee. But not silence for me. If only it were silence for me. I'm still whining on in grooves, don't forget. Still damned to carry on. Inside these grooves. Inside your head. At least I'm not inside trainers. At least it's not that. But I still have to carry on. That's the thing. Carry on ranting away forever. Think of that. Think of what that word forever means. Alan said it was a very long time. Sniffing, I wish I finished my life. 